Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Gina. Thank you for joining me today. Today I am doing hashtag tag me Tuesday. It's a challenge by Kathy at Kathy's Garden. And today it is a tag deluxe. It's a fold out tag and it's a large tag. So we'll get started. I'm going to do mine in a sewing theme. So the first thing I have here, I have all kinds of um, sewing theme things ready to fill the tag up with. This is the paper that I'm going to use to do my tag. One side has this pretty pattern, one side has this pattern, and it is about ten and a half by eight. So, um, the first thing I need to do is ink it up. I didn't get that done. I was inking things up, but I guess I didn't get this one done. Hope you are all doing very well. I am. I got my medical test all done. That was not fun, but it's done. Ugh. <laughs> Had have to get my throat stretched out. I have to do that every few years. start getting food caught in it and stuff and I have to go have it stretched. So that's done for a few years. It doesn't hurt or anything. It's it's a little scratchy afterwards and I noticed my chin underneath my chin is real bruised and hurts this time. That's never happened before. Okay, so then we take this and we fold it in half. Turn it so I can see and make sure I'm getting it straight. I must have a little nick out of it there. It's not quite, but that's okay. We're going to cut off the edges. Get my folder here. Then we're going to cut this in a tag shape. And I'm going to get out my Kathy just cuts, but I don't cut straight at all. I have this nifty little thing on here that does tags. So why not just use it, right? If this is going to fit, this may be too big. You know what? This may be. Nope, I think I can do it. I don't like a steep a steep one. I like mine a little less steep. So I think I'm gonna go at four and seven eighths for mine. And then I just cut it there. And then I flip it over and it's got the lines that go all the way out so I can still see it. And I put it back on four and seven eighths. And I cut it again and good. I didn't cut that lady's head off. I didn't want to do that. <laughs> and we keep we keep this for a little bit later. And there's my tag shape. See that's easy for me. Otherwise my little little looked all wonky. And I'm really upset with mine because this little thing has broke on mine. And I don't know why. I'm not like hard on mine. I don't know why it broke. So. Very happy with that, we are memory keepers. That's an expensive little tool for that to happen to. Not that we are memory keepers would ever see my videos, but that's quite an expensive little tool for that to just snap for some unknown reason. Okay, so there we have our tag and it will open up like that. So we're not going to do it, but I think this would be cool. Like I have my new journal that I just made. And wouldn't this be neat? I hope this fits in here. 
that's all my little leftover scraps to use later. But wouldn't something like this be neat to put as a wrap around too? Wouldn't that be neat? That's not what we're gonna do, but I'm gonna do that in here. <laughs> I'm gonna make a tag like this as a wrap around too. But this is gonna be something you put in here. Although I, I don't know why when we get it done why it couldn't be that, but wouldn't that be pretty in there? But this is for my defimerember. But I'm gonna keep working in it because I doubt I fill it completely up with my defimerember stuff. And if I do, I'll just make me another one like this out of another pattern. Because I love my patterns. Okay, so then we need to make a pocket on here. And for a pocket, I have chose this dresser scarf. I've used this before in a little house um, journal. And I want to use this portion right here to make my pocket. I think that would be very pretty. So I gotta kind of figure out how I'm going to, I guess I could just try to attempt. I'll make sure I'm in where you can see. I tried to get you close enough you, you can see, but far enough out you can still see too, if that makes sense. Um, And of course I have a fruit fly. I thought they were going to put the lid on my straw here, the cap on my straw. Um, try to pick this up and flip it over without moving it. And I'll mark it with my pencil maybe. or holders so I don't accidentally pick them up to use them. And yes, I think that will be very pretty. Now I'm wondering if I should have used my zigzag scissors on that. I think I will. Make it just a little bit smaller because I think it's going to fray. Sometimes, a lot of times, I want it to fray, but this time I'm not sure that I want it to fray because I'm afraid it'll just keep fraying and keep fraying and keep fraying until there's nothing left of it.
All right, now. Yes, that would be just fine. And zigzagging is part of sewing, so that will look good there. Okay, let's bring this over here. See my little, hmm, I didn't put my little fingertip thing where it belongs last time I used it. Hmm, well that's not good. There it is, it fell off. not mean to do that. Trying to get that extra glue off there. Uh, I need to put, well, I think I'm going to use my Fabri Tac right there. This little bit of the trim got cut away. And it's going to be flopping around if I don't get it glued down. Now, um, Kathy had sorry silk that she put up the side, but I don't know that I really want to put anything up the side of mine. I just can't decide. And since I can't decide, I'm not going to do anything right now because I don't know. The other thing I thought of was taking this trim and putting it up the side. Now that I think I would like much better to put this trim, trim up the side. I think that would look much better than it would go with what I'm doing here. And we might do that. But again, I'm just not sure right now. So we're going to move on for now. For now, we're going to move on. I have this that I made. And this came out of um, this little pocket, this little book. This is from Timu. And it's just got, it looks like the fronts of um, different patterns. There's some cute ones in here. I chose this one because she's wearing a hat and this pattern, this looks like a pattern that has a hat. So I thought I would put that in there. And I'm not sure what else yet. So we're going to move on to the inside and we'll decide in a little bit what else we're going to do there. Oops, look, 
that goes out over the edge, but it's okay for now. Okay, now on the inside, I cannot remember. Oh, we're going to make a pocket right here. And I've got this. This is a copy. Oh, I just unplugged my... Um, out of one of my magazines that I have. I'm not sure which one it is, but I'll take it out and I'll show you a sample. These are home needlework magazines, and I've got a few of them. They're all from about 1915, 1912, and they're just really cool little magazines. And you can make copies out of them because they're out of um, out of date. And I was looking for things to use. And when I was looking at my digitals on my computer, I came across this. I'd already copied it. And I thought, hey, that will work for what I need. And they're just really neat little things in here. They're all from um, way back, the things that women used to do. They're, and something I thought was cool. Let's see if this one has it has any of it in here. Yes. Have you seen um, in antique stores and stuff if you go looking and you see the hand painted um, china and stuff? This is where they would get it out of these magazines. Um, they would get the patterns out of here and that's where they would get their patterns to do their hand painting on their china and things. Isn't that cool? This one is for a tray and a talcum shaker. Now that's where they would get a lot of their patterns to do their painting for their um, china. They would get their china plain and then they would paint it. Here's a pen case. Isn't that cool? So anyway, that's where I got this. I must have scanned it at one time. I've been going through and trying to scan a lot of it. So, um, I'm going to cut this down with my ruler. I think I'm just going to use this part right here. And I printed this on heavy paper so it would make a nice pocket. save that of course and then uh, let's cut this side down. well I'll use my trimmer for that I should have really watched her video again to see how she did the inside. Oh, she did it. She made it like this. She made it a pocket like that. So, yeah. I want that a little bit closer, I think. Well, mine's not going to be corner rounded. And I think, let's see, well, first I need to figure out where I need to cut this. And that would be about just a little bit. can't see it when I get it in there. So I'm not going to make it quite to the edge. Okay, and then we will cut it at about 
correct that angle, I believe. There we go. That should be about right. We will see <laughs> if we like that. Yeah, I think that's good. Now I need to set it in here, though. That's not exactly straight with the thing, though. <laughs> that mat. Yeah, that could work. I'll have to um, fix that when I get it laid down, though. Okay, let's ink this up. Got my ruler up out of the way. try to get everything in here and then we'll do some decorating. I, ca I have a hard time decorating as I go. I like to get my pockets and stuff in and then kind of decide how I'm going to decorate. I kind of weird that way. <laughs> okay. Yes, I like that like that. So we're going to glue here. here as a pocket and I didn't save anything out for that. Oh boy. Well, why don't I just print something while we're working on the other side. Let me look in here. I know I had something ready. I just didn't get it printed. Well, I thought I did. I thought I had something picked out. Huh. Something. There it is. Okay. I knew I had something. Okay. There it goes. Okay. Now, so for this side, we're going to make a um, journaling spot. So we have our pieces of paper here. And what she did is she folded these in half. I got some onion skin paper, lined paper, and copy paper. So, oh, it didn't print. Okay. So we will um, fold these in half. Off the. 
And I just sprayed these down with tea yesterday. This one really gets, gets strained. I don't know why it looks like that, but that's how it did. Okay, so then I will cut those. I'll put my trimmer up. Oh dear, well that didn't do so well, did it? Oh. This is how you mess it up, guys. <laughs> you can always learn how to mess it up when I'm around. <laughs> I think I need to replace that blade. One side all nice and even. And then hopefully my trimmer will trim this other side to make it even. So looks like the top one is the smallest. this all even. Okay, let me bring this back in. That will work fine. So this is where we bring these back in. This is our corner that we used to make this. So that on there and I agree with her I was gonna just try to cut it but this is probably easier to just lay this on here and draw it and this gives this the same angle except for this is not even up here I need to cut this This is not even. And I'm going to cut it below where I just drew that because, well, let's see, have I got plenty to do that? Oh, yeah, I got plenty. There we go. Now, I got an even top. Now we'll do this again. Okay. So we'll draw this one on this side. Go that there. Flip it over. And draw this side. Okay. And then we just cut this one. Yeah, 
Oops. Now we can throw this away now. See, that gave it the same angle as what you did before. And then I'm going to cut it out right there. I'll hang on to those. Those are good sizes. I or something. Okay, so now we have this, and I want to cover that with something, so I'm not going to glue it in yet. So now we start to do some um, decorating, but first we're going to come up with a little pocket down here, and I hope that this will be enough of a, might be enough of a difference to make a little I want to make that about what is that about an inch down there I want it to be the same as that so that is three quarters of an inch this may not this is a sweet little it's got all this design like a pattern and stuff. So, I cut it right there. This may not really, it may not show up much. I like this side. grab some flower paper. When in doubt, grab flowers, right? Except I have myself locked in back here with all my stuff I'm using. my box of lace behind me. I have another box of lace behind me. <laughs> I have all kinds of stuff behind me. Okay, let's see. Uh, that one would look pretty right there. That might be our choice. That's, I don't have much left in here, do I? I'm about to use this one up. Well, I guess we're going to use this. <laughs> I didn't know I'd use this that much of this one. Okay, I'll use this one right here, and that will look pretty. I should have grabbed my other one with flowers, but this will work. This will work just fine. Okay, three quarters is that line. all the way through. There we go. Okay. And then I need to cut it. I'll turn it over so I'm marking on the wrong side. That other piece just didn't give it any contrast. And really kind of fought with it, didn't it? Cut it right there. Mm 
guys, it is 80 degrees here today. <laughs> it has been so warm. I mean, so cold here. And today it is 80 degrees. It's really quite unbelievable. But it's going to go right back down tomorrow. So don't get used to it. I have been in my living room working on my books. My husband and I have been in there. Um, we got rid of the hospital bed finally. Doesn't need it. The hospital bed is gone from the living room. It's in the garage though because um, he's got to have one more surgery. And we didn't get rid of it because we rented it so long it's ours. And um, we cannot rent another one for five years because that's how our insurance works. If you know, it's yours, and so now you cannot rent one for another five years, so it's in the garage. I thought about selling it, but then he's got to have this other surgery on his hip. don't think he'll need one, because we have a sleep number bed, so probably he won't need one, but what if he needs rails after this hip surgery? So... We have a rail for the sleep number bed that we can put on there, but still, we're kind of iffy about getting rid of it. So it is in the garage, but anyway. Um, so now I'm in there because I haven't been able to get to our couch. The sleep, the hospital bed totally has been blocking our couch all this time. <laughs> I haven't been able to get back there, and my books are on a bookshelf behind the couch, and I couldn't get to those, and... I don't know, it's hard to explain, but anyway, my junk journal books, a lot of them, I've been able to get to some of them, and all the ones I've bought since in the past year, but we've been in there working on those. Why have I found some treasures, but, and cleaning up behind the couch, and sweeping, and, you know, just trying to get things done that I haven't been able to get to for a year. So we were doing that, but I took a break and came in here because I was worn out. Okay, so we made that into a little pocket now. Now the fun begins. So I've got this little, it says drapers, milliners, and dressmakers. So this, and not that, but this, got that. And then I've got this, it looks like a little um, sewing needle thing. And I've got this. It looks like a little sewing basket. And this. These are all by, um... Oh, you guys, I lost her name. Let me look. I'll, I'll tell you. Ann Thompson. Because her folder is right up there. I've got a thing that holds, holds folders of different digitals. Ann Thompson. So if you go and you find her on Facebook, she has amazing, amazing digitals if you haven't found her stuff yet. Okay, so this one... Um... Oh, this one was pretty. What we're going to do with this one. I have these little, um, they're like little, uh, appliques. I got these from Timu. I also have these. I got these from Hobby Lobby a long time ago, and I love these. These are much better quality. I can't get them at Hobby Lobby anymore. It makes me sad. They, they were not cheap, and so I only bought two colors, and I wanted to go back and get the third color can't remember what it was so um but they quit carrying them so i ordered these off timu you can tell a big difference in them now in some ways the ones from timu are much better for our junk journaling because as you can tell maybe i don't know if you can if i can um there's a big difference in thickness the timu ones are much flatter much much flatter but yet quality you can tell a huge difference but we are going to put these around just to dress this up a little bit so it's gonna take me a second here I use my hot glue gun I think that'll be easier um, I need my finger again I just have my finger I just had it there it is okay I get this up here where you can see. Ah! Just 
stuck the wrong finger in the glue. I don't think I need that. I'm not touching it. It's just cumbersome. I was going to do the seam binding and then I thought, you know, this is different. And I've had these for over a year and I really haven't used them. Yes, it's going to take a few of them, but why not, right? I can order more and I think I paid a dollar or something for them, so why not dress it up? my favorite theme. Okay, oh my god, go that far and then figure out how I need to. Oh, that is going to end perfect. Wow. still have not found my my good snips that I like to keep in here, but I have these little ones. They came in a great little, um, I have some of these at my other sewing machine too. But these came in a great little um, border kit that I bought at our little Amazon palette store thing we have here. It had all sizes of embroidery hoops. These and um, needle threaders, uh, I don't know, but it came with this huge package of um, embroidery floss, and all of that was four dollars. Well, I really got it for the embroidery floss because you know, embroidery floss that's not cheap. There we go, see, isn't that pretty? Oh, I love it. Okay, so let's see where we're going to put all this stuff. Okay, I think I had you in the front. And, um, I could put this right there. That would be pretty. Oh, okay, let's just do that. No, that didn't work, did it? I needed those snips that I just put up. But it was funny. And it, oh, it came with eight o'clock. It came with everything you need and instructions on different ways to different stitches and stuff. But it didn't come with any kind of patterns. So I guess you just come up with your own pattern. But it had about ten sizes of embroidery hoops in there. It was, it was a good deal. Yeah, that would be pretty. Let's put that there. I think I'm going to have to get a different color of um, seam binding for the hole here though. Now that I'm using all of this. Okay. this there. And I think I might put an actual lady in there maybe. Let's see. And maybe my little package of buttons can go in here. Nope, she needs to go behind. 
Yes, okay. And then in here, well, I guess if I've done this everywhere else, then this is going to need to go right here, isn't it? So let's do a little bit of inking along the edge of my little tablet here. I did what Kathy did too. She put her um, copy paper on the front and the back so that your thickest paper was on the front and the back where you needed it. And then glue here to glue this down. glue where I don't want it. Oh, I did over here too, I guess. Or it's on my finger. I don't feel it on the paper. It must just be on my finger. Okay, and we will cut. stick. too big to go in there, isn't it? But it's awful cute. I think I want to keep it there. Got this to go in here. I'd like to put about just one there. Yep, that's what we're going to do. stamp on that. We're going to stamp on this real quick. Where did my stamps go? I'm going to use this stamp set.
just give it a little bit of something else on there. that I got out, but I don't know that it's all going to fit in here. That can go right there. Oh, what am I going to do with this that we just made? It's got to go somewhere. Right there. Yes. And I think that might be, oh, oh, I got, I wanted to do this. I'll have to find a place for this. I've got a little sewing machine charm, a button, and a little button. I thought we would make a little, I'm hoping this will work, but this one, glue on me, this one on the back here, hopefully, yeah, and then put the sewing, I got glue all over me, <laughs> put the sewing machine charm, yeah, I got glue dangling on me. <laughs> and then this one, maybe? This itty bitty one. Okay. Yep. There. See, like that? Do I have that? Yeah, I got that on the right. Except, no, I need it to go like this, I think, to get it into, to be able to safety pin it onto something. Don't I? Yeah. Oh, oh, wait, no. I think, I think I need it to be this way. Oh, okay, I still gotta do this. Let's pick a color for tying it. You know, where did I put that? I have it out here in my piles. There it is. <laughs> Goodness. Dropped right in. This is really good right here. This is this will work. This one will work really good. Okay, there we go. Let's put this blue back in here. Put that back in there. I have some that I put in earlier that fell out on my desk when I was searching earlier. through both with that there. Do you just poke through this one? I guess so, because I can't poke through that one too. Okay. Okay. So, let's find the center here. Um, I always go on my six. My brain can't compute, so we're going to do this. Okay, 
this is the center. So we'll go right here. I'm going over a half inch from the center on each side. So we're going to go right here and right there. Okay. Sorry, my brain was like, meh. <laughs> Can't see it today. Okay. And we're going to go oh, here. Let's see. Go. We'll go a quarter inch down. Quarter inch. My little thing is broke on here, or we could just use it, but it broke. Another broken. We are memory keepers. Oops, I used the wrong side. So it's not broken. This side isn't broken. I could have just used it. Okay, so then we will find the end. Put this through here. And up through here. Giving myself enough. Give myself a little bit more. Okay. There we go. That doesn't go all the way down. Take off that end because it looks funny. I did not have, oh, it came unplugged. Well, I'm going to have to fiddle with that bow later because my, um, my glue gun came unplugged. So I will get this all fixed up to where it's, you know, it's spread out and it's, because it came unplugged on me. Okay, but there is our tag book. I will stand up and show it to you closer. Here we go. I'll get that down. But we've got some buttons and our little thing we made and this one. And then we've got a lady. Oh, I've got another lady I can stick it in. Where'd she go? I lost a lady, you guys. I lost a lady. We'll stick her in the inside. And there's our little pocket out of the dresser scarf. And here's the inside. And I've got um, coffee dyed on the back of all of these. There's, they're all coffee dyed. And our little rickrack holder. It's pretty cool on the inside too. It's got um, 
very best bib for young men and how to make it. <laughs> Our little needle booklet. So this was fun. This was a fun one. And we'll stick her. We'll move this over here. And we will have her standing right there. And she looks pretty with the inside. And then here is our little tablet. So that looks pretty. Yeah. Now, I think... I might just glue this on the back as a little tuck in case we want to do anything back there. And if we end up gluing this on a page, well, that will be okay. But we will have this back here if we want to use it for anything. That will work. And I've got this little page out of a Singer sewing machine um, oh we didn't put our I forgot to put this on something what am I thinking oh my brain you guys put this back here has a little tuck and we can put this one back here too and then, where are we going to put this? Oh, I know. I was going to put it up here with this. That's why I did the bow first, because I was going to put this right there, hanging off of this. There we go. Now, I feel like it is done. We've got this back here. And if it if um, this gets glued down to a page to just be like this, then this can all come out of here except for that. But that's that's a printable. It's not, you know, just print it again. And it'll be okay. Well, thank you for joining me today. I will have the information for this video where you can find it and find Kathy's channel. She has wonderful videos every day with amazing tutorials and if you haven't found her channel yet, go find it. I will have the video linked below. You have a blessed day, and I'll be seeing you soon. Bye-bye.